I don't know about you, but sometimes I get pretty tired and a little burnout. And today, that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about. My name is Abby, I am the Curly Haired Keeper. Today, I wanna to talk about a few things that I use when I feel myself heading into burnout mode. Burnout mode can come in many different shapes and forms. In the reptile community specifically, for me anyway, it's been coming in the form of really speaking up and out regarding the FWC Holy Thursday Massacre. So the last several weeks, there have been many of us really pushing for change in the rules and regulations, specifically in Florida, but that does tend to bleed out into other states across the United States. Um, so it's exhausting work, you guys. So let's talk about how to find some balance as we push forward and look for these changes. The thing number one that I tend to look for is help. Now, help can be kind of a dirty word for a lot of us, myself, not excluded. I have a really hard time reaching out, but I'm actually kind of proud of myself because the first thing I did after I saw the news break about what happened in Florida on April 6th was reach out to someone that I trust and respect. Um, huge thank you to Chad Harsh. Um, if you don't, I'm going to put all of his, his links so you can go follow him down in the description below. Um, I reached out to him, asked him to hop on a live on Instagram with me just to kind of talk through things because there was just a lot of emotions and information going through my head and I knew that he was a really good kind of solid trustworthy person that I could bounce ideas off of and thoughts off of and kind of process through all of the very <sighs> very strong emotions that I know a lot of us were going through as soon as that news broke. So as we move forward in seeking these changes, taking that initial step to reach out for help was really important for me personally because it helped me to kind of continue doing so and know that I was not in this fight alone. So that was, that was step number one for me to feel like I'm not alone and feel a little less overwhelmed by a lot of the information and emotion that was going around and still is. Now I'm obviously speaking specifically to burnout in regards to speaking out on actual changes in regards to rules and regulations in Florida and how it affects other states in the United States. Um, however, it can be applied obviously to other things. Burnout culture is very alive and well, especially in the United States and Western cultures. So just keep keep that in mind you can utilize any of these tips and tricks if you like in other aspects of your life this is very unscripted by the way if you can tell already so bear with me thing number two and again this is something that i struggle with a lot is being willing to take a step back and just take a break these intermittent breathers are so important to make sure that you refuel yourself and that can look like anything. That can look like literally just doing nothing for a day. It can look like just spending time with your animals. It can look like posting a video that has nothing to do with what you're feeling burnt out about. It could just be reading a fantasy book. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It can look like anything. So just take some time to take care of yourself. It's really hard to make changes and keep pushing forward for others and for an entire community if you're not also taking care of yourself. And yes, I am speaking hypocritically here because I am definitely not the best at self-care and definitely not the best at taking a step back and taking a break from things, but I am getting better and practice makes perfect. So just know that if you do need to take a break and not do something for a day. Just know that there's other people. And again, ask for that help. Say, hey, I need a break today. Can you make sure that you post about something? Or can you make sure you have this conversation with this person today? 
and that this, you know that there's still something happening, right? So it's not that something is not gonna happen because you're needing to take some time for yourself. And the third thing I wanna mention, and I think this is really important, is remember why you're doing it in the first place. With everything that's going on, with all of the heightened emotions that have been triggered regarding the incident on April 6th, it's really easy to get lost in the sauce. There's a lot of different areas that our focus can get pulled away from the initial thing that got us pulled into this in the first place. So we can get frustrated with other things that really don't necessarily have a lot to do with what we're focused on. So staying focused on the changes that we're seeking to make, I think is really important and will help if not avoid burnout, because I don't think it's completely avoidable, it will help manage it better. And just to throw this out here, I'm not an expert on any of these topics. I just wanted to share kind of what I've been doing to help balance things out and help keep my own momentum going because momentum with this is so incredibly important right now. We want to keep the information flowing. We want to make these changes happen while we have the opportunity to do so. So you all are doing an amazing job. I just want to tell you that just in case someone hasn't told you yet and to keep it up, but also make sure that you're taking care of yourself and not falling into that burnout mode where you just stop and don't want to keep moving forward. So find that balance, keep on going, keep up the amazing work and keep on kicking ass y'all. And that's it for me, short, quick one this week. Um, I really wanna get back to sharing like the, the fun stuff. I know some of the stuff this past couple weeks have been much more serious and important, obviously, but the reason that I got into the reptile stuff is because it's fun, we all love it. It's the reason we all got into it. Um, but this is important, so I just wanted to share kind of a couple of things that I do to help balance while still making those changes that I know are important. So huge thank you to USR Florida, all of the people involved in that organization working tirelessly, seriously, don't know how y'all do what you do, but I appreciate it so much. And to everyone at US ARC as well, please make sure to show both those organizations support in any way that you are personally able to. Every little bit helps. Um, all of their links are below. Uh, as always, Thank you for watching and I will catch you next week. Ah, uh, real quick. Uh, thank you so much to our Patreon members. Lack of coffee. I've been to blame that for that one. I'm so sorry, but he, thank you so much to our Patreon members for your support. Shy also says thank you. He stuck his cute little face out because he knows that it is feeding day today and he is very upset that I am not food, but he also says thank you so much to our Patreon members. <laughs>